it's uh, been a very exciting week in sports and for the latest news and notes here's sunny yang with the sunniest side of sports sporty greetings once again to all our in focus viewers the boxing world is paying tribute to former world heavyweight champion smoking joe frazier who died november 7th of liver cancer at the age of 67. Smokin' Joe will be remembered for his three classic bouts against Muhammad Ali. Their third and final fight in the Philippines, nicknamed the Thrilla in Manila, was set up by longtime boxing promoter Don King. He was terrific as a fighter. You know, there's no doubt about it. And with the Thrilla in Manila, he personified that. Uh, being able to uh, demonstrate, you know, his ability to go in there and fight and give it his all. And what he was doing with Muhammad Ali, uh, giving him blow for blow, returning the blows that Ali was laying on him as best he could. And he performed in one of the most dramatic fights in history. Now let's go to Las Vegas, where Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach is this weekend with his champion fighter Manny Pacquiao for his fight against Mexico's Juan Manuel Marquez. First, we'll hear from Freddie about Smoking Joe's passing, and then we'll hear from the Pac-Man. Joe Frazier was a great guy, a great fighter. He came up in the greatest heavy, heavyweight era with, you know, Ali, Foreman, all okay. those guys. All right. It's just, uh, we're, we're going to really miss him. I saw that fight with Ali, with Joe, Joe Frazier. That's the, the biggest uh, boxing event happening in the Philippines. Filipino champion Manny Pacquiao is fighting Juan Manuel Marquez for a third time. Their first fight ended in a draw, and the Pac-Man won the second by split decision. Now let's go to Doha, Qatar, where the African football champion Pharaohs of Egypt will face Brazil Monday in a high-profile friendly match. The Pharaohs are in transition. They failed to qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations in January in Gabon and Equatorial Guinea. And they also have a new head coach, American Bob Bradley. The dream of everyone uh, in Egypt is to qualify for the World Cup in 2014. Uh, I hear that everywhere I go. Um, you know, people that uh, uh, you see on the street, uh, the first thing they say every time is, is please Brazil, uh, inshallah. This will be Bob Bradley's first match in charge of the Egyptians, who would love to qualify for the World Cup for the first time since 1990. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports.